A while ago, I created this video showcasing a workaround to sort of schedule your Instagram reels. And I say sort of because at the time that workaround really was the only way to batch prepare the postings of your reels because no scheduler actually allowed to direct post to the Instagram reels feed but that has now changed. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can schedule your Instagram Reels using Buffer. Buffer is a social media scheduling tool that we've been using for the longest time at Unbound. And recently they added the feature of scheduling directly to the Instagram Reels feed. I'm gonna go through it step-by-step, step. actually gonna schedule one of my own Reels and I'll just take you along for the ride. Before we get started, towards the end of the video, I'm actually gonna be sharing some reasons why you might not wanna use a scheduler to schedule your Instagram Reels because turns out there are some downsides to it. And so this is based on my own experience posting or scheduling my own content and also scheduling content for clients. So make sure that you stick it out until the end of the video so that you can decide which method uh, will work for you. And now without further ado, let's dive in. All right, so what you wanna do is head over to buffer.com if you don't have an account yet, just create a free one. And then after that's all done, you click on log in. There we go. And I am now in one of the profiles that we have on Buffer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click create post. And then at the top, you can see I'm on the Instagram profile. It asks, do you wanna create a post or do you wanna create a reel? Of course, I wanna create a reel, so I'm gonna do that. And then it says, please include a video. And I am simply gonna drag it in there. So now this video has been uploaded to Buffer and then it asks, what would you like to share? This is where you would add the caption that you want to accompany your reel. So I'm just gonna say uh, caption test, like I'm not gonna, fill out a caption, but this is where you would do that. And then you can also add the emojis in there by clicking on the little smiley face and then adding whatever you want included in there. And of course, if you want hashtags, you would simply type them the same way that you would if you schedule it on Instagram. The only thing here is that it won't show you, or at least I don't think it will show you the possibility. So if you type it in the Instagram app and you start typing, it will show you the different possibilities and the amount of posts that that hashtag has, that in Buffer is not possible. So I could do side hustles. And as you can see, nothing really pops up. Whereas in Instagram, it will show me all the, the possibilities. And then they did add in the functionality now to edit the thumbnail, because as you can see, it's just a random frame from my video right now. It's still not the, the best. So it will allow you to select a frame from your video. It will not allow you to add a custom thumbnail. So we could drag this and then just find a frame that we like. And I'm guessing mine will probably be, let's go with that one, time and skills and we'll save it. And now this is the overall thumbnail. I'm gonna dive into why this is an issue later on. We can add the location. So let's say I'm gonna say Antwerp. And even there, like it's not really finding me possibilities. I have to really type it in correctly. Whereas on Instagram, of course, again, you can select it. And then it's asking you, do you wanna share it to your feed? If you leave it like this, it will only be shared to your Reels tab. If you select this, it will also be shared to your Instagram main feed of your profile. And then now you can either click add to queue and it will simply fill a time slot that you have have pre-selected in buffer or you click the little drop down arrow you click share now share next or schedule post so we're going to schedule it and then you select the date and the time that you want to schedule this at and then you click schedule and it says great the post has been scheduled and then if you go all the way down to the date that we've selected. So there it is. This is the reel that will be posted by Buffer for us on the 16th of November at roughly 5 p.m. Now here are the downsides to scheduling it through Buffer. So first off, we already mentioned it. You can't upload a custom thumbnail the way that you could if you did it directly on the Instagram app. The second issue that we're having is, yes, we can select a frame from our video so that still 
the, the thumbnail looks decent. The problem that we're going to have is that we can't recenter it the way that we could in the Instagram app. So what's going to happen if I share this to my feed is that it will cut me off roughly at eye level because it's only going to show that middle square. And because we can't recenter it the same way that we would uh, on Instagram, it's not going to look nice on our feed. So that's the second thing. The third thing and, and sort of the major issue that we've had using scheduling tools is that all of a sudden your reach will be from different countries. So what we've noticed is all of a sudden we had viewers from Japan instead of Europe. Then one time we had a lot of German viewers and then the next post that we did, we had a lot of people from the Philippines or random countries really. And I am like thinking and not sure if this is the reason and feel free to correct me in the comments that it depends on the servers that buffer pings it from. So depending on the day and the time that it's getting posted, it will be posted from a certain server. And then depending on that server, you get reach in different countries. It's what we've noticed both for my content, for my podcast content, for our clients content, the the location of the, the viewers just sort of goes all over the place compared to when you're actually posting it from your app with the workaround way that I have showed you. So those are some things to keep in mind. So the fact that you can't upload a custom thumbnail, you can't recenter the thumbnail. So on the feed, it will look a little bit off. But then thirdly, and sort of the major reason why I prefer to still use my workaround way is you want to keep reach in the countries that you usually have your reach in, especially if you're trying to build an audience in a specific country, let's say the US, let's say a specific European country. If all of a sudden, great, your reels are getting a lot of views, but it's all in Tokyo or it's all in the Philippines or it's all in Australia. And that's not where you deliver your services or that's not where you operate it could throw the algorithm a, a little bit. So that's something to keep in mind. If you feel like mm, that might be a reason you don't want to use a scheduling tool, make sure that you check the initial video that I did on scheduling reels where I show you my workaround way and then you don't have um, these negatives to posting your reels. There are some other negatives, but it's sort of you pick and you choose which one uh, you want to go for. So we're going to make sure to put that on the screen over here. Make sure to go and check it out. And then, of course, if you have comments or questions, leave it down below and I will see you next time.